Hey everybody, and welcome back. Glad you could make it to another video. And today, we're gonna be having some fun, making one of our family's favorite recipes. So come on, let's get started. Hello, family and friends. I'm Susan, and welcome to my home. Hey everybody, Susan here, and it's Sunday supper again. And tonight, we're gonna be doing one of our family favorite meals again, Peruvian chicken quarters. I went to a restaurant, I think it's called Viva Chicken, and they serve the Peruvian chicken quarters, and it was so good, and I thought, I have got to figure out how I can make those at home, and I did. I found a recipe, and it is as good, if not better, than the restaurant. So, come on along. Let me show you how I make the Peruvian chicken quarters and make them so good. Let me get my ponytail up and let's start to cooking. And let me show you the recipe we're gonna be doing today, which is Peruvian chicken quarters, polo a la brasa. Um, I'm gonna be using a third cup of low sodium soy so, uh, low, third cup of sodium, low sodium soy sauce, uh, but I usually put aminos, uh, two tablespoons of lime juice, Five garlic cloves, which y'all know I use the minced in the thing. I'm gonna do a teaspoon of cumin, paprika, and chili powder. I'm gonna do half a teaspoon of oregano, uh, one tablespoon of vegetable oil. And of course, I've got my chicken quarters ready to marinate in a bag. It's better if you do this at night whenever you go to bed or in the morning and then come home from work and put them on the grill because the more they marinate, the better they are. Um, I have done them where I've marinated them for an hour and they were good, but it, they just seem to be better the longer they marinate. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything in the bag and then we'll go from there. First thing I'm gonna put in is the liquid aminos and that is one third of a cup Okay, and then I'm gonna be doing two tablespoons of the lime juice, which I am not using fresh limes. If you do fresh limes, that's great. It tastes awesome, I've done it both ways. But it's winter time, and I don't normally keep limes laying around. So I'm going to use just the lime juice. Okay. Five teaspoons of minced garlic, which in my book says it's a teaspoon. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to use one teaspoon of cumin. Two teaspoons of cumin, excuse me, two teaspoons of cumin. Glad I have my bifocals on. <laughs> One teaspoon of paprika. Yeah, that ain't gonna fit in there, so we're just gonna dump it in here. And one teaspoon of chili powder. It says half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. I've always used a teaspoon because y'all know I like things spicy. So, chili powder, one teaspoon. All right, now I've got a half a teaspoon of oregano, and this is oregano from my garden. And I just get it and break it up and put it in there. And it's going everywhere, but it'll be just fine. I think that's going to be the end of it. Yep. Yeah. All right. That's good. Now, the last piece is the one tablespoon of oil to help distribute all of the seasoning all over the place. And I am just using vegetable oil because that's what it calls for. One tablespoon. 
Now, we are ready to go. Let me go ahead and get the bag shaken up. Now I'm going to basically close the bag up, get all the air out of it, and then I'm going to shake it around. I want to make sure that all of the chicken quarters have got some of this on them. That way they can marinate really well in it. And you can tell when they do because they look like they're covered in the mixture. And I do have three chicken quarters in here. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in the fridge for tonight. And then we'll make them tomorrow for lunch. See you then. I've gotten the chicken quarters out of the bag in the fridge and put them in the Instapot. And I'll tell you why I'm doing this. Because a lot of times if you put chicken quarters directly on a grill, the middle doesn't get done and the outside gets burnt. So I'm going to put this on for about 20 minutes and then I'll put them on the grill. That way I know they're done on the inside and then I'll make them crispy on the outside on the grill. So come back in about 20 minutes and we'll see where they're at. And while this is cooking tonight, I thought I'd just go ahead and talk to y'all for a little bit. Um, this recipe is one that we went to Viva La Chicken, I believe it's called, in Gastonia. Um, my husband loved the chicken there, and so did I. And I thought, I have got to figure out how to make that recipe. Y'all know I am not afraid to make unusual recipes, and this was one of them. Um, I love the flavor. I love the spices. It's really easy to make. You just put it in the marinade. Let it marinate for at least an hour, overnight's better. And then I like to do it in the Instant Pot for a few minutes. That way you know the middle of the chicken quarter is completely done. And then put it on the grill. And that way you can crisp the, the skin up. But it's a great recipe. It does really good on an outdoor grill too, which is where I've done it quite a few times. But of course, it's cooler right now. So I'm doing it on the indoor grill. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I know I've told y'all that I am going to be putting up multiple different videos, not just my normal times uh, during Christmas. That way I can get all of my Christmas goodies recipes up. And of course, all the family favorites, because you know I've got quite a few. And let me go ahead and let you get back while I let this finish cooking up in the Instant Pot. The Instant Pot has finished its 20 minutes, and I'm basically going to try to lift these out without disturbing them too much, and then put them on the grill. And they're gonna cook on the grill for about 10 minutes. Hopefully I can get all three situated in here. There we go. All three of them situated in there. Got the timer on 10 minutes. I'll come back in about five minutes and check them out to make sure they aren't burning, but they should be doing pretty good. And here's the Peruvian chicken quarters. I actually let it sit in there for about 12 minutes all total at 500 degrees. Like I said, if you do it outside, you will need to check the chicken often. I've already cut it down the middle to make sure it's all the way done, and it is. And it shouldn't be dry because I basically cooked it at the absolute minimum amount of time as I could. And I'm going to be adding some noodles to the plate. Okay, there we go. Peruvian chicken quarters. And some noodles. But Peruvian chicken quarters is the main thing. And that's what's for supper tonight. I hope that y'all have enjoyed this week's Peruvian Chicken Quarters. Sunday supper is always a good supper, and it's the time I usually have more time than normal to do some cooking. So put these in the marinade in the evening, or at least for an hour. I like to marinate them overnight, and then they're ready to cook the next day. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We would love it if you'd become a part of our channel's family. And until next week, have a great week.
Please like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram or Pinterest, and ring that bell so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos.